everybody, and welcome back to Mob Vlog. It is Saturday, May 15th, and we said we're going to do a, uh, a movie night, a watch along, because Red and I talked about the thief. So that's what we're here for. If you don't want to listen to the next few minutes of me saying hello to everyone, do yourself a favor and just go down to the slider and slide forward. There'll be chapters and just go to the start starting point. Okay, so uh, hey, we have some people in here. Welcome, everyone. Welcome back to Mob Vlog. Hey, Red, how's it going today? Going good tonight. <laughs> Excellent. Tonight, I should say, right? This evening. Had a good day, though. Well, all right. LV Linda, Sean Pender, uh, Southside Honky. Uh, let's see, Chris Godla, Scott H. What's going on, everybody that's in here tonight? It's uh, John O. Uh, Brian Kossoff. You have a you have a uh, you have a uh, cousin who was in the movie. So this is kind of cool. I'm glad everybody's in here. Uh, the way this is going to work, uh, if you were around when we did the uh, when we did the um, uh, casino watch party, which People are still watching, believe it or not, <laughs> sitting there watching the movie. You have your copy there at home. If you don't have your copy, you can look in the description below and you can click on the link in Amazon there and that'll get you your copy so that you can, you can watch along with us. So we're going to start this in the next couple of minutes. So get your um, get your get your, uh, your devices ready. Um, we're going to have to listen to ours really low or, or put headphones on one of the two. Uh, so that we, we won't be broadcasting or copyright uh, violating anything. Scott H. is ready. Stephen Hogan, Karen Payne, Smartphone 3.0. What's happening? Great 15. It's good to see you guys. Nathan, uh, thank you very much. Appreciate that compliment. So we're going to get this thing started um, right away here. And uh, if everybody has their copies, where we're going to start is on the screen where it says United Artists. That's going to be our starting point. For me, it's 44 seconds in on my file, and it says that my whole file is two hours, three minutes, and 57 seconds long. So I'm watching off of YouTube. Red's watching it off of YouTube. So we'll see if Red, if Red and I see any differences when we're when we're watching as what's going on. Maybe I have a different cut than he does, or you have a different one than we do. Mine Sean, had a lot of credits in the beginning. <laughs> what's that? Mine had a lot of credits. I fast forward to past. Yeah, the there there were quite a few when I watched it the other night too. Um, but anyway, okay, if everybody's ready, uh, we're gonna get this thing started. Sean Bender's pounding beers, having fun tonight, Sean. That's excellent. So, okay. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit start. And, oh, and by the way, this uh, right here, this little, this little, this little uh, time, yeah, the, the the time code. That's going to let you know where we are in the movie in case you're watching this live and you come in late. All right. So anyway, we'll get this thing. Uh, we'll get this thing going here, and let me get everybody's ready on their keys. So let's see this on your marks. Get set. remember, it's right where the United Artists logo is. On your marks, get set, and go. Okay. So this was all filmed in Chicago, Red? No. Some of the, some of the studio shots were filmed in L.A. Okay. But most of the major scenes were filmed in Chicago. The street scene, I know when we get into it later on here, the by rocket used cars, uh -huh. that was at Irving in California or Irving Park in uh, Western on Western Avenue, one of the used car dealers on Western Avenue, and that was right down less than half a mile, quarter mile away from my house. So I watched them film a lot of it. Oh, okay. They're doing it, and they did it in different segments. They, they didn't always do it in one shot, but once mm -hmm. I started doing it, I said, What the heck, I might as well go over there. And a lot of it was done at the night, too. Yeah, now somebody somebody made a comment the other day when we were talking about this on the show uh, that um, the girl who's in this, what's Tuesday her name? Weld. It just came up. Tuesday Weld. Tuesday Weld, right? Uh, so Tuesday Weld was involved with Jackie Cerrone. I don't know. Somebody somebody was saying that that she I, was I, involved I, I with Jackie Cerrone. She was going with who? <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I didn't know. I couldn't remember if it was something you said or maybe it was one of the uh, one of the prescribers that brought it up. But yeah, so those are those old stairways, those old staircases, the fire escapes. Yeah, they're all the way along that alley. You can see them right along there. The music is something else. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, the, here it is, right? Yeah, Tangerine Dream. I actually had one of their albums a long, long way back. I bought it because of the cover. The cover looked cool. I still have it. I must have 300 pounds of uh, 30, 33 RPM records <laughs> in boxes. <laughs> yeah. Michael Mann, this was his big uh, debut, is what they say. He was. Uh, he had a couple of pictures earlier, but not like this one. Right, and there it says it right there, based on Home Invaders by Frank Hoheimer. Based on the book. Book was very short. It's about 180 pages. James Conn said in an interview that that uh, drill, that drill really weighed some like 150 pounds. 200 pounds. 200 pounds. Joey Lombardo had him. He yeah. still loaned it out to Mikey Switek and the other guys. <laughs> He'd loaned him his tools for a piece of the score. <laughs> Unbelievable. It was talking about, he was talking about going through the, uh, safe and hitting the copper in the middle and how you have to just give it the right feel and yeah james james really got into this role he really got involved with this role he almost got himself in trouble you were saying yes it was in the papers at the time um he was picked up he was staying at the drake hotel somewhere downtown here and uh he uh got picked up by the police and they said if you go they had an illegal wiretap on him and they said, if you go on that score, we're going to arrest you. <laughs> we're going to lock you up. So <laughs> he really wanted to go on a score. He wanted to be there. He wanted yeah. to actually see everything that was done. You imagine that? Now, let's talk about method acting. That's method acting, all right. Reminds me of Burt Reynolds wanting to do his stunts. Reminds you of Burt Reynolds when he did what? Wanting to do his stunts. He did his own stunts. <laughs> he died early. <laughs> he was crippled up pretty bad. There's been a few actors that were like that. Always wanted to do their own things, right? Bruce oh, yeah. Lee was one. Hell, uh, Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin uh, did everything himself. And was injured, too. <laughs> and who was the other one? Uh, Who's the other one? Uh, starts with a B. Um, I know who you're talking about. Hey, Joey Douglas Short Pants. I remember Douglas Fairbanks. Douglas Fairbanks did his own stunts way, way back. Yeah, was Douglas Fairbanks, Brendan Lee, his son too. Alex said yes. Jackie Chan, Buster Keaton. Thank you. That dazzling urbanite. I knew somebody would remember. Buster Keaton. It was Buster Keaton. You're right. Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin. I like how he starts to go through this, and he, he knows exactly what he's looking for. Just sorts it out. That's all. All he wants is diamonds. Yep. I like how he has one guy waiting in the car, then one guy doing the helping him with the wiretaps or the mm -hmm. uh, not wiretaps is uh alarm system. Right. The guy who actually did this must have been a locksmith. <laughs> yeah. Jim Belushi. This was one his this was one of his first uh 
first I big roles, right? Debut. No, that was his debut. It was his debut. No, it wasn't he was he was with uh, his brother on on something, but it was serious debut. Okay. Tom Cruise does his own stunts. I didn't know that. Who said that? Scott uh, H. God. Scott That's, H. Yeah. Tom Cruise said that he's uh that he uh he's like a trains more than a than a marine when he doesn't gets into his roles. And I watched him take this one guy skydiving and I, I really thought it was funny. I really did. It was on YouTube. Yeah. See, that looks like downtown Chicago. It is. An overpass, right? Oh, yeah. Not, is that the L? No, um, it's a bridge. The bridge. They're coming out of the tunnel. It's kind of a dark scene, but. Yeah. Well, most of it was filmed in dark, like I said. You know, Pontiac. That was a moving car in those days. See, that tunnel looks like that one from, it looks like downtown. That, on, uh, it's on Lower Wacker. That's what I mean, Lower Wacker, yeah. You know, they have the ups and downs uh, on each side on Lower Wacker. So you can go down lower. What's going on, Dave McKinnon? Cindy Workman. Uh... Kevio, hey guys. Good to see you guys in here. God bless America. Thanks for showing up, everyone. I, I was kind of I was kind of having second guesses if anybody's gonna show or not. You know, <laughs> oh, maybe it'll just be red and I. Dave, Dave McKenna. <laughs> How you doing, Dave? Yeah, Jim Belushi's young there. Look at that. Very young. How young he looks. I was very disappointed the way they wrote him out of the script here later. Yeah. Excuse me a second. I'll be right work back. Cars. Get out of the work car and get in his caddy. <laughs> I'm going to grab a second pair of headphones. Give me just a second, Brad. Sure. While Adam takes a break, I'm going to ask you guys how many people actually have seen these locations that are being shot so far. Hi, Lexi Johnson. Okay. Unfortunately, I remember them all. That means I'm old. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it, my dog, Lexi. <laughs> Yes, I do. I mean, I miss the big old cars. <laughs> I liked them. When I saw front wheel drive, I said that belongs on a Oldsmobile, uh, whatever model they had, or a Caddy. Adam Frog, you can find the movie on uh, Amazon, or you can find the movie on. Also, I have it here on YouTube. You can buy it on YouTube. Look in the description below, Adam. There's a link for, to uh, Amazon for it. 
And those big collars flipping over the top of this. <laughs> that was the way it was, and everybody wore leather. Yeah. This was actually filmed in 1978. It wasn't released till later. Really? It was filmed in 78 and, not, and then sit, sat in the can for three, three years being worked on? Right. Remember Frank talked to you about the film and said they wanted him to, Frank Lada said they wanted him to be a consultant. He was right. still in Chicago then. Yeah, that makes sense then. See, I never, I always wondered, I said the movie came out in 81, would they, how is that so close to he was in Vegas? But it makes sense, he was in Chicago in 81. It was filmed and they didn't release it till what? Uh, 81. Right. But they were shooting it all the way through, uh, it was um, it was the fall of 1978 that we were shooting it. Got it. Sean Pender could come over and you could fill up the seats. Sit back here if you want. <laughs> Adam Rogue, you like the shirt? It's uh, they're um, uh, they're hollow. Not jalapeno, chili peppers. They're chili peppers. The hot chili peppers. You're wearing. Yeah. My, it's my. It was my dad's shirt, so that's why I was just. I thought I'd wear it today. I say, what the hell? It's kind of. It's kind of small on me, but that's cool. Yeah, Butch it is a, a good movie. Very good movie. Look how thick this guy's glasses are. Giant thick. Thank you, Rich. My memory isn't that bad. Thank you. Not yet it isn't, but it might get that way. Who knows? I had a friend in Chicago whose glasses were that thick like that, big ones, and he had a hard time keeping them on because they kept sliding down how heavy they were. They were too, were. Heavy. They were too yeah. heavy. I had a friend of mine who had the same problem, and boy, was he happy when they came out with contacts. <laughs> I bet. I'll bet. Hey, Sean, you're in Chicago Heights. Got a good soundtrack in this. The whole movie has a good soundtrack. Yeah. I don't think there's a time in the whole picture where they're not playing something in the score in the background. Supposedly, she was messing around with Jackie Cerrone. Some, so, somebody said that. Hey, thanks a lot, DPN. DPN, I caught your latest video live. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like button too, guys. Something's happening here with me. <sighs> Man, those old cars were great. Oh, yeah. I said they knew that's that's when they knew how to build cars. Not only that, they're going on the wet streets all the time. So James Conn was spinning the wheels. He, he's fist chill. He goes sideways. It's an outtake. Okay, cut. Take it again. <laughs> right. Jeez. Thank you for the good luck. I appreciate it, guy. Okay? I'm sure Adam does, too. Her, it's the I'm leaving you letter. Count Dante, Chad Weismer, what's happening tonight? Count Dante, what does that mean? You'd have to push an all-nighter all for once a time in America. It's about three and a half hours long. <laughs> I just personally think it was better than The Godfather, and they came out at the same time. 
Yeah, you want to pull an all-nighter for once upon a time in America. It's about three and a half hours long. It's a long one. Yeah, back when you had to say, give me the phone and then pick long cord. <laughs> well, that's, hey, a phone. Line too. that's a princess line, too, where he's got the... So you down our merch? <laughs> phone booth. That's another thing. The phone booths were only a dime then. Yeah, that's where the whole expression, who dropped the dime on someone, right? I know you're going to laugh at me, but I remember when it was a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe Bugs Rand used to put a nickel in their hand. Who right, I you you remember hitting the telegraph, don't you? I know you do. You... I had to learn Morse code to get on the radio uh, to get on my ham station. You had to take a test to pass it. Anyone be ever based a movie character on red? No. 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 Adam, you must have a tough time with this stuff because I'm getting. Um, Belushi's across the street from the gin mill when he's on the payphone. Thanks for that, Stephen Hogan. Across from the gin mill, huh? I think man wanted to shoot a lot of things close to each other so he didn't have to pack up all the equipment, move to another spot because he did move to a lot of spots. What's this question? Red, did you clock people on a daily basis? Like just sit facing the entrance when you go out to a restaurant? No. Okay. I do. I always had somebody with me. They were they were looking over back behind me. <laughs> they saw the problem before I did, if there was a problem. Mr. Rataglia. I think I, I told you, Adam, right behind that building. I'm, I'm sorry, what's that? I think I told you right behind that building that they filmed that in is where I had my rush factory. Oh, yeah, you did. You said that. On Armitage. Your bottling company. Yes. Or Elston, excuse me. Elston Avenue. Mm -hmm. Right by the bridge. So much brown paneling in the seventies, dark brown paneling everywhere. Everything in the north was dark. Is when I came down south, it was like everything is white. You know, everything is. <laughs> it was a change of the north. It was richer the brown wood. Like in this house, I have brown wood too. Yeah, it's all cherry wood ma mahogany. <laughs> See how his hands are shaking? Look how his hands are shaking on yeah. that gun. Look how intense he is. Well, he went to school for that out in Arizona. Yeah. And that's the right way to do it, too, because you all oh, yeah. that's the way you do it. That little shake there. He's like, she's so. I like the way he came up with it. He put his arms together, came up with it. Mm -hmm. Very professional. Yeah. For an yeah, this, this sideways 
this sideways stuff that you see him do nowadays. That's that's all BS. That's, that's all BS, man. I'm going to shoot my Uzi sideways. Get out of here. I guess he didn't want any trouble when I'm with you, Conroy. There's here he comes. Willie Nelson. I never thought I would see this guy in this movie. I, I like the when he talks to him, there's like uh his breath is still on the, the spots on the window. <laughs> he leans over. <laughs> so so I thought that they, I've never visited anyone in jail, but you just talk through the glass like that in, in, no, in a prison? No, I used to be able to. It used to be like that? Yeah. Okay. Now they have telephones. The so they can record everything. So they didn't record this right here back in the day? No. If you visited someone? No. And I visited quite a few people. What does he mean by that right there? When he was talking about there, he said that they put uh, they put all the the uh, uh, I don't want to say the wrong words uh, for YouTube, but when they put all the the pedophiles into prison. Oh yeah, yeah. They used to they way back in the day they'd never put them in population. Never. Never. And he's they saying that's what they're doing now. Oh yeah. Okay. You wouldn't believe what they got in here. Rapists. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's what he's saying, right? It's it's well, this guy's been in there for almost half his life anyway. <laughs> right. Right. He grew up in there, you know? Yeah. His world was at that world and he watched it change. Sean Pender. I think w Willie stoned. It's possible. I like what he tells him. I like what he tells him though. He says, lie to no one. What do I do with the wife? What do I do with the next lie to her? <laughs> right. The wife, rocket, rocket scientist that she is. <laughs> sure. There it is right there, yeah. With the breath on the glass so close. Get me out of here. Right. Yeah. Who resembled James Conn's character? Hardened with no sense of humor at all. Nobody I knew. James Conn has a little sense of humor. Yes, I met Joe Pistone. I don't like Joe Pistone. <laughs> he was working as a uh, consultant at the uh, uh, the FBI. Took him back, and he was working in uh, Virginia as a uh, uh, consultant for undercover work. He's really kind of a crabby guy, or he was when I saw him. Well, he smoked a lot. <laughs> Is that a Cadillac, right? Oh, yeah. All right, this guy right here. This guy looks like uh, Joey Iupa. I like, I like the way Jim Bellucci's on the roof. He's covering him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are they by the old courthouse on LaSalle? No, that's uh, on Navy Pier. That's there's John Santucci. Yeah, can you believe that lot of money? Down there? <laughs> I've never been able to figure out who this boss is supposed to be. Didn't that here's to fun? Didn't that look like the same font as the thief? Is or is thief the title, not the thief? Thief looked like the same font. 
Could be. Could. Hey, kiss your cat. No, it's not the Yacht Club. You can see the Yacht Club from there. I'm having a crazy time here because I have to keep between three screens. I'm popping up the messages. <laughs> I'm doing all kinds of things here. Never done this before. You'll have to excuse me, folks. Yeah. How's it going, Anthony? Tony. Hi, Anthony. How you doing, guy? He said he was going to make it. You did. Scott H has three screens going. I do, too. <laughs> I do. I also do. And I have to keep clicking for comments. <laughs> Four if you include this countdown. It's, it's slowing down. I guess I'm doing too much on one computer. I like how he describes it and it's like, it's just, you're going to get, we got tips and the tips are all, you know, coming from insurance companies and you're going to do the robberies and then the people are going to be paid and the, sometimes you know. Sometimes they're in on it. Sometimes they aren't. Who are they? <laughs> you don't have to know who they yeah, are. Yeah. That's my business. <laughs> At least he's setting up the rules. And this is a very important part of the picture too, because James Conn says, I'll think about it as he walks away. Yeah. When you're on in a movie. He says, you're on. So he agreed to two or three scores, tops. Right. But he changes his mind later on. I didn't watch. I didn't. All the times I saw that, I didn't even notice it until this last time. Uh-huh. I got a hot date. <laughs> I like it when he when it's a guy in the chest. He says, "Back off, Flash!" <laughs> and, <laughs> Anthony, you you could watch it on YouTube. James Con character reminds me of Emil Dencio out of Youngstown, Ohio. Someone I never met. No, neither did I. Never read about. What's the river? That's got to be the Chicago River. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's that's the Chicago River, Scott. Thanks again, guys, for coming out and hanging out tonight uh, and, and watching The Thief. This is my second time seeing it, but I saw like it button. last oh, week. Hit the like button. <clears throat> we appreciate you. Adam Earlier does. this week, yeah. What street was that? There, Arminetti. That's Lincoln Avenue. Okay. He's so making was, a turn. He's going to make a yeah. turn going back to the uh, lounge to pick that's up. Ar uh, that's Arminetti, right. And that's a, that Blues Club, I think it's still there. The building's still there. You can see the address on the wall here. Uh huh. This bar used to be owned by Bugs Moran. Stephen Hogan says that bar is owned by Bugs Moran. Wrong That's, bar. Wrong huh? bar. Wrong bar. Wrong bar? He's talking about the Green Mill. Oh, that's not the Green Mill? No. Okay. That exit scene was definitely bare. The Cassidy tire on Canal or Jefferson. Joe Pistone says something here. 
Joe Pistone, yeah, Red wants me to be crabby when I don't think I'm listening. Now he's ignoring my comments because he knows he messed up. Call me crabby I now. I don't know what's going on with Joe Pistone. He might not be having a good know. night. Okay. Yeah, Adam, a majority was filmed in Chicago. I'd say 90%. <laughs> Bugs Moran, don't be misrepping what I owned and didn't own. I'm watching even from here. That's funny. Whoever was abusing us. The Green Mill is on Broadway. TC, is this Kingston Mine? Kingston's Mine? What was that in the name of a bar? Kingston's Mine? Yes. What does that say on the say? Cats and Jammer on the window. Right. That was a blues band that was playing. Okay. <laughs> she gets out. He puts her in the other side. <laughs> How many people have really seen that happen? I have. <laughs> I, I, I got to say, I don't think my era was a little different. Yeah, I didn't see that happening. If it, if it did, it was really rare. Look at it. He's been a gentleman. He brought her into the, you know, opened the door for her, put her in, she climbs out. <laughs> right. Halligan Bar is the name of this one, Stephen Hogan said. Hooligan. Hooligan Bar, okay. I think they changed. Kingston's mine is on Clark by Wrigley. Thanks, Anthony. Think red locked up. Name. Everything went out. You're back, Red. I lost everything. Richard P. says hi. Got to get Q back up here. Where you at, him? Uh, he's telling her, let's cut the mini moves and the BS oh, and get okay, out no, with this romance. I got a forward. That's at the... Um, he's driving. <laughs> he's driving down the uh, Kennedy Expressway headed towards the Edens. Okay. Because they come up to the Eden's uh, Plaza and they get off there. Right here, right? Yeah. Okay. Is this the Oasis? Yeah. And that's what they call getting to know you. <laughs> All right. This is the Eden's Oasis. All right. Right by Old Orchard. Okay. I went out there and watched them film that at night. That's cool. Remember I said I had a problem getting out? Well, a lot of these scenes were filmed at night, so I didn't have a problem. Yeah, right. Has James Conn always had that scar on the side of his face? Not that I know of. Or was that something they did just to make him look a little more rough in this movie? I don't know. Could have been part of his. See it on his like his left side. He has that scar going there. I was. I'm just curious. It's all right, Dave. You can watch it later. Yes. Thank you, Dave, for coming. Appreciate it. Hit the like button on your way out. <laughs> yeah. She 
Chicago Police Department says, consider the request. I don't know what he's talking about. Chicago Police Department. Red, would you consider coming back to the force? We need some help with Antifa. No, forget it. So he's being funny. I was never on the force. It's a thankless job. I wouldn't do it. Where are we at now, Adam? She's talking about being in prison in, in, in another oh. country, and she, she's in Bogota in Colombia. Yeah. And she's, there I was in both. Yeah. On yeah. the corner. Yeah, right. Right. I'm kind of sure back What's in wrong that day. With it? What's yeah, wrong with it? What's wrong with it? He sent the thing back. What's wrong with it? It's cottage cheese. <laughs> It's yeah. the way he says it. You know, what's wrong with it? It's cottage cheese. Jeez. And the waitress is so nice. She'll get you some more. <laughs> Miss what? Here, Anthony Demartini. He's the one who said it. Miss Weld was affiliated with Jackie Cerrone. He was on the set often. Yeah. See? Oh, okay. So that's coming from Anthony Demartini. I knew somebody. Anthony would know. Yeah. And guys, if you haven't checked out Anthony's channel, go check it out. He just started a channel. It's terrific. He's doing really cool things with the channel. So, yeah, check it out. Actually, he had me on for a guest. He's got awesome, big collections. You have tons of stuff, man. It's really cool. I like those menus. <laughs> He's talking about doing time now. Yeah. You got to do you get to wear it. Day. What is this red scar? He says, uh, oh, you're not smoking hot. You're, you're vaporizing, I guess. I tried it. Damn near killed me. Yes. Like Lexi Johnson. That's I'm hilarious. Back I'm when you he... a cigarette. <laughs> that used to be breakfast. What's uh -huh. great about movies back then is there is no political correctness in the film. It's true. I was going to say they had to edit a lot of this out back in 1978 or 1980. They didn't allow. Well, he's talk, they're talking. He's talking about getting gang bang jail. I mean, this is you know. Hydrotherapy. Did Khan play football at Michigan State? Yes, he did. I met him by the bird's nest uh, on Wells and Division. Yeah. He's the only guy that I know that, that I actually knew that went to Tony Spalazzo's funeral. By strong stuff, I, I I think you mean murders or something like that? No. I never did. I took care of all my rough stuff on the street by myself, but that was it. Oh, that's a whole other story. We won't we don't want to talk about that during the movie. The boxing over at the Aragon Ballroom and Mustadini. 
Joey was backing him. Yeah, I got involved in it. I used to go down there. I'm losing track here. Agreed, Anthony. A pork pie hat, Scott H. That's what uh, Heisenberg wears in Breaking Bad. That's a pork pie hat. Yeah, Willie's got a pork pie hat on in that picture when he's showing him the 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 uh, the, the card with all of his stuff glued on, and this is like life story card. You're in the show. Everybody can see and hear me. Yes, I think so. Am I saying something wrong? Scott. Larry Manetti, what? It's told by the studio not to go to the funerals of Tony and Michael, even though. A lot of, all the Grand and Ogden crew told me not to go there. I had to tell him, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yes, they did fix every major fight. Between Angelo Dundee and his stable and everything else. I'm watching the comments more than the movies. <laughs> or more than the movie. I'm watching both. That's uh, you have a problem. Since you've been making videos, what have you found the most interesting? I don't know. Let me think about that one for a minute, Larry. I think they're all interesting in their own way. They're all different. I don't know if there's a specific one, but I definitely find the, the history fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. The whole history of the mob. Look at tears. She she winds up out of her eye like that. Here's that tangerine dream in the background again. Psychedelic one. <laughs> I don't know what would have happened. Uh, was it? Grits, if somebody would have shown up when they were told not to. I just didn't do it. When you're told something like that, you just didn't do it. Pay phone. I used to walk past those as a kid. I always hit the coin release. Yeah. Know? And then put my <laughs> hand in the thing to see if they come out. Put our hand up that with Palm of our hand, but he did them up there. <laughs> Just to see if one guy, and sometimes they were stuck. Change came out. <laughs> sometimes you steal your money, too. <laughs> Frank used to steal the pay phones. He had the tool to open it up. All right, so what are they scoping out here on the rooftop? And now this guy's got the glasses on, so he really looks like Joey Ayupa. That's the score. Right. That's filmed in L.A. Uh, yeah, I say that doesn't look like Chicago. You're right, uh, right? That's on a roof of a, a building in L.A. Why didn't they film it in Chicago? I don't know. TC, I think it was because um, they just didn't want anybody's picture taken and they knew the press would be there.
in my case anyway. Bank of California. They even put the Bank of California in there, right. so they aren't trying to make it look like Chicago. Okay. That answers well, the my question. The store is supposed to be in California. Got it, got it. It's supposed to be in L.A. I mean, he tells them, I, I need Cal licenses, I need this. That's what he's saying right now. I'm running on delay with you, Adam. <laughs> gotcha. No, I got gotcha. you. We're we're right about the same time. We have to be. Bought her a house. She's not wearing a bra there either. You know, I don't know where that house came from. At one time, there was a lot of speculation. I thought it was Lincolnwood, but it wasn't. Uh -huh. Jim Belushi and his, his, uh, his Corvette. Leo was based on Milwaukee Phil? Wow. Is that what they're saying? Jeff Cook just said that. Jeff Cook, Leo was based on Milwaukee Phil. Is that, was that, was that uh, a documented somewhere, Jeff, just out of curiosity? Are you being uh, interviewed? Oh, it, sounds, sort? it sounds logical. <laughs> That guy's got one hell of a comb over, man. Holy cow. He's got that stuff wrapped up there. I shouldn't laugh. I'm going to need to do that too one day. <laughs> I wonder how they got these guys to talk like this with this accent. You know, everybody had the Chicago accent. Yeah. Right. Yeah, LA would have been Chicago's territory. Yeah. It was. I believe Joey Hansen was watching at the time. Yeah. Makes sense. It all makes sense. Milwaukee Phil really makes sense to me too, but it's the first time I've ever been told that, but it makes sense. I've been trying to figure out who that guy is. Oh. Per, per Michael Mann, according to Jeff. Okay. Thumbs up, Jeff. Take it, man. You just taught me something. Yeah. We hope to. I don't we, like we, the we, we either get old or we or we or we just stop. <laughs> Who did you guys ever meet Frank Vincent? I never met Frank Vincent. Did you, Red? No. There's only two people out of this movie I met. <clears throat> one was Dennis Farina, which I don't like. And the other one is uh, uh, James Kahn. Yes, he did. James Conn was at the fight. Yeah, damn pay phones. measuring the diagrams. I forget what they call that tool. Burning bar? That's the burning bar, right? 
Yeah. There is a name for it, though. James Conn had a hairpiece, huh? I don't think he had one in this movie. Later on, he did. I know he did in the way of the gun. Another payphone. Why is he passing the money there in the courtroom? It's the lawyer or the one guy wants to know, um, can you get my wife some furs? And he already told uh, um, Leo, he says, I don't know. They, to, hold I mean, on. Are they okay. signaling each other money that the judge and the, and the attorneys? Yeah. Mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> I didn't catch that the other day. That's great. Jesus. That was very common in bond court. And a writ for habeas corpus. The guy's dying, whatever, you know? <laughs> this scene is right out of Operation Greylord. Yeah. What was Operation Greylord? That's when they arrested all the judges, cops, and lawyers that were doing bad things. Right about that time. <laughs> Uh, that was Bob Cooley's uh, big project. And Mark Vogel was the U.S. attorney on that. Did I know Lenny Patrick, TC? No, I did not. Buy yourself a suit. <laughs> Yeah, it's ten grand. Buy yourself a suit. Yeah. One committed suicide in jail. Wow! That's the one that uh, uh, acquitted Harry, Harry Edelman. Uh, he committed suicide. He walked out in the backyard, put a gun to his head. Really? Up against a tree, so the bullet, stray bullet, wouldn't go anyplace else. But he blew his brains out. They caught him for one big one, but he had a lot behind him. Oh. There's an old horse swing in the background from the 70s. Cindy, I met Jim and James scene. No, you're right with us. The Jim and James scene, they just stood up from the swing set. Right. And Belushi says, you happy? Taps him on the cheek. That's what I'm seeing right now, Cindy. Saganash? They filmed this backyard scene in Saganash? What's that? Oh, uh, it's uh, right up by Norwood Park. It's behind, it's east of Norwood Park, east of Northwest Highway. Nice homes back in there, real nice. I like this. 59 to 70. They must have been tight. The way their wives got along real well together. Tuesday well gets along. Who, who played uh, Jim Belushi's wife? Hmm.
just south of Lincolnwood. At one time, TC, I thought it was in Lincolnwood, that house. I can okay. never. One thing I get that's not so desirable. <laughs> oh my. My gosh. He tries to bribe the the adoption lady. Yeah, here's it. How about my ring? You wouldn't even know what it is, Lee. Grow up in the suburbs? Yeah. Did Michael Mann did Michael Mann do a crime story? Was that his? Did he direct that whole thing? Yes, he, he did. That was a television series. I think it was on for like three or four I, years. I know. Guess what? It's free on IMDb TV. You can watch all 38 C episodes. You know what I'm thinking, Red? I'm thinking every Monday for the next year, we could watch an episode. Of <laughs> Just kidding. We're going to do it all at once in one big long binge, Red. <laughs> For those of you who are listening, I'm going to say it. I told Adam this before. The reason I did not like Dennis Farina, one of the many reasons, there's a lot of them. He's not a method actor. That's really him. <laughs> <laughs> he plays himself. Wow. A wise guy. A lot of one-liners. I don't know, but I put on an episode, the first episode, the pilot of Crime Story the other day, and and I watched the first 20 minutes of it. And I thought to myself, I've never I've never seen this before either. Looks good. Somebody said it's like that. I think Scott H told me it's like the Twilight Zone. Of the seven seventies and eighties. He's like so many people, like actors, showed up in in the, you know, in the in the episodes. That's what it was like. It was like the Twilight Zone from the you know fifties and sixties. Crime Story did come on after Miami Vice. Miami Vice was on in the seventies. Don Johnson. Dice Clay was in one of the, in the uh, crime story. Andrew, yeah, Andrew Dice Clay was a uh, a guest, you know, a stand-in. He yeah. was on a lot of films. John Santucci. Uh oh, <laughs> Sergeant Urizzi. Yeah, I could do good things for you. <laughs> I like the way they knocked out his tail light. <laughs> yeah. They used to do that in Chicago a lot. Yeah, they would, huh? Oh, yeah. Now they got a problem cause to stop you. Man, it, so much corruptness all around in Chicago. <laughs> I like the way he tells them, you know, if you're interested, oh. if you're interested in a uh... so TC got weird when they moved into setting from Vegas to Chicago. Oh, it's just one season. They did that many episodes. They did thirty-eight episodes, and well, I guess so. Back then, they do, you know, they do probably once season. a week. Yeah, 40, 45, 47 minutes. The commercials. It's an hour. Well, the commercials were a killer. Mm. It's a bug bug in the phone, Red. You know what those look like? Oh yeah, <laughs> I used to put them in phones. <laughs> But that's when you could screw them off. They had a princess line. You had to take a screwdriver or um, a princess line or 
a uh, I forget what you call it. it. The dial was in it. It didn't have a touch on it. It had a dial in it, and you had to take two, two screws out of the top and then slide it up inside the back. He's checking for bugs anyway. He doesn't care. He's going to check the rest of the... He's turning and, uh, on everything the to... Old water uh, trick, the old water trick. <laughs> can't can't hear all the water going, right? It knocks everything out, man. It works. God. <laughs> you can walk in the bathroom, turn on the shower, nobody can hear you talk. <laughs> right. And when when the neighbors when the neighbors are outside, you know, and I'm I'm I can hear them. I turn the waterfall on by the pool, blocks out the noise. Can't hear anymore. Works with the water faucet too, huh? It ran for two two seasons. That's what I thought, Jeff. I thought it was more than one, but I thought it ran for three. He because says two, two seasons, forty four episodes. Thanks, TC. Anyone ever have a Chicago bomb, a glass of old style with a shot of Malort? What's Malort? Malort. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's a wine. We did Boilermakers where you drop the whiskey into the yeah, glass but the of beer. And chug you, it. It's a type of wine. <laughs> we <were> thinking. <laughs> wine and beer. Mm. Oh. That's the Red Lion Bar on Lincoln, Ricky Grand says. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that, Ricky. That is Milwaukee Phil, huh? That's the Green Mill, right? Lexi said. Yes. Green Mill. I used to play pool in there. It's a museum now. I thought Ricky said it was a red red bar, red lion bar on Lincoln. Sean Bender, Irish car bomb. Yeah, I've done Irish car bombs too. All these drinks I've never heard of. Oh, that's a. I'm getting too old. Irish car bomb is a, a is a, a glass of uh, Guinness. That's that real heavy, dark with the you know foamy head. Stout. Stout, thank you. Yeah, and then you did a glass of uh, or a shot of uh, Irish whiskey. I think it's Irish whiskey goes in, and that, that's a car bomb. Sidecar is something else. Back to my bartending days. This is where he says, I'm gonna get you a kid. Yeah, you can't get one on the straight. So now that's filmed. That now. that's filmed those big booths. Yeah, all right, are, that's in Chinatown. This is in Chinatown, you're saying now? This is the fourth thing you're saying. It's a different. In the background, it looks like there's some really ornate wood. Also, they do another one when he names. He goes back to the same place when he gets his kid. He names it. Um, it I forget what the name of his kid is. But when the kid, he said, uh, you know, he names him. And the Chinese guy's waiting on him. Later on. Later on in the movie. What outfit guys controlled the east side by you, if any? Who controlled the east side of Chicago? I have no idea. The east side? I was down in Calumet City. That would have been like uh, Albert Taco. That's the south. Al, Al, Al Palato, right? Yeah. That was southeast. White, black, brown, yellow. <laughs> Jameson, Jameson, and Irish cream. Thank you, Victor Guinness. Jameson and Irish. Cream. Later on, he mentions the uh, the Davenport, Iowa uh, investments. They were all legitimate. John O. Uh, was the Tony Spilatro problem with the adoption agency? He had a notorious background and gotten turned down. Do you, did, 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 was that written? I don't I don't know. But in the other day when I said I'd never heard that about Tony paying ten thousand dollars to get a uh, to 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 adopt Vincent, his son. I said I never heard that, never read that. I'm telling you guys, the pages of the book must have been sticking together and I missed that part somehow when I uh, when I read it and I never heard Frank it's true. say it. So. It's true. But yeah, amazing. Yeah, I don't know if he something else lefty paid for his first kid. What? 
One of, one of, one of his kids from Jerry was adopted. Stephen and Stephanie, he had two. He had four. He got re he got remarried after uh, he moved when he moved out of there because when he lived in Boca, Lefty, he had his kids living with him there. He had a big, beautiful place in Boca. Did y'all see the bottle of squirt? No, I missed the bottle of squirt, Cindy. <laughs> squirt, I forgot I can't about buy that. Any more in the bottle, so I buy it in the can. <laughs> yeah, but squirt, they don't even they don't even make that anymore. They I remember that. Have. I buy it all the time. I buy New it. Day. Yeah. Uh, I'll go get a can for you. Hope you're doing well. Was the movie based? I, I believe you. I'm losing track of the movie here. Was the movie based on a true storyline? This is the movie Frank turned down. Yeah, this is that movie. That, this is the movie Thief. And Frank uh, was approached because this was filmed in 78. Rudd just clued me in on this. And it sat for three years before it was released. So they did approach Frank about being a consultant for this. That's what Frank said. So that's the movie that we were talking about the other day. Yes, uh, to answer your question. Chris. Um, wait for Conroy to get back. Or for Red to get back, Conroy. Oh, Kevin! Conroy! That's it. He gets his mentor out of out of jail. That's back when they did mouth to mouth. They don't do that anymore. I see it. I see it. I believe you. <laughs> Nothing tastes like squirt. They don't do mouth to mouth anymore. No. That actress, she just wanted to do a little mouth to mouth with Willie Nelson, I think. A lot of people had to, you got your Yeti cup. A lot of people ask, uh, you know, when he leaned over. What did he say to him? If you listen carefully, he tells you what he said to him here. Because Tuesday, well, asks him, asks him. The doctor's telling him he didn't make it. At least he got him out. Yeah. It was his last wish or a request of a good friend. Yeah, of course. I take it Oakland kept him alive while he was in prison. He only goes in for a forty dollar th thief and comes out with years because he got a manslaughter charge, which is common. It's she just picked up the baby. This is when they go to the restaurant. Conroy ain't not living. <clears throat> Why that 68? That's, uh, yeah, crazy. I think the waiter's the owner of the place. Really? Too slow, Jimmy, you're right. That guy right there is the owner? Yeah. Cute baby, what's his name? <laughs> Uh, 
Um, um, boss of what? God bless America. They don't have one anymore. Come on. All right. Politicians are the bosses now. Yeah, exactly. It's practicing. Showing them how it works. The burning bar. Frank said a, he used one of these. A small one. Did he really? He wow. said he did. Yeah, he said he had the burning bar and everything. This guy says they're a son of gun to handle. Uh, they must be because they, that's magnesium on there. You have to light it with a blowtorch. Or not a blowtorch, but a settling torch. A blowtorch is with gasoline. You know, it wouldn't work, but... Uh, a settling torch to light it, you know. Burn a hole through it. It works. I wonder how much he paid for that tool. <laughs> right. And you got to have it measured to the right length. Can you imagine what it is to hold one of those up? You got to have the guy in the middle holding the center. This is where you make. Here's the phone sweep, right? Yeah. I like the, the old yeah. man just casually every once a week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's got some giant sideburns, Cindy. I don't think so, Conroy. I think that they got too much on their hands as it is uh, to work on, as to go back and, and look at things. They do their cold, the cold cases. cases are cold. They're dead. Yeah. There's nobody to try for them. Are any people watching the movie? <laughs> I am. I am too. I'm trying to. He's got a tail. Santucci's on his tail here. Uh, Not for long. <laughs> it is where he picks them up. Standard. What's the, where's the gas price? Dollar twenty-seven on the mobile sign. Dollar twenty-seven. I was in Newport Beach. It was four dollars and twenty-seven. They had just put in the new meters because the old meters, the gas pumps, only went to a dollar, and so they had to put in new meters or new pumps at every gas station. Really? Yeah. Wow. I know some gas stations, they just go by the gallon and tell you what they were charging you because it might be 80 cents a gallon, 90 cents a gallon. That was during the, the uh, Jimmy Carter years where they had the gas crisis. Hey, broke his tail. Like, yeah. He's getting roughed up. It's not like this anymore if you go to jail. Yeah. Don't count on it. Depends on what. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, here's the phone book. Boom. That's, that's on Maxwell Street. I like this one cop. He turns I knew a cop like him. He said, You're a stand up guy. I'd like to go out, maybe, you know, have a few drinks, maybe go to a ball game, go to a fight or whatever, but no. <laughs> then he comes out to him. Huh. Tell somebody else to handle it. As anybody knows, those old Chicago yellow pages were pretty thick. Were, if you got hit with them, you do it. Yeah. Oh, I used to tell people about it. When I write about it or tell somebody about it, I tell them they were like three inches thick, you know, three and a half. 
if anybody has a phone book anymore, I don't think they do. Hmm. And that day, <laughs> it's the last place you want to be. Yes, it is the Hill Street location. Ricky? That's Hanhart. Scott H. That's Hanhart. Well, that's playing him, yeah. Well, he's playing Hanhart. Who was chief of detectives at the time. Did you meet meet him or John Hinky? Oh yeah, I'm uh, Hanhart. I saw John Bellucci. I met Jim. I didn't. I I used to see uh, Hanhart all the time at the Bird's Nest. <laughs> well, <laughs> at the Vision. That was before I got died. Never saw him after that. Santucci, yeah. Hey Cindy, glad you're enjoying it. This is my second time. I just saw it the other other day, uh, uh, Tuesday night. I think I watched it. It's a great movie. I, have, I I can't believe I've never watched it. He hung Frank out the window. Yeah. I don't doubt it, but he hung Frank out the window at 11th the well, state. That's what Frank I mean, said, yeah. Now, that's that's the L right there. They're drive, driving under. Right. Stouffer's Restaurant. Very popular back in the day. Every time you watch a movie, too, you pick up different things. You know, different you see different things. Black Hawk, Black Hawk Theater. This this music's really really weird. This electronic stuff with the with the horns or whatever going in and out is trippy. Yeah, hey, metal... Mark, how you doing, guy? Nice to see you, Cindy. Good to see you. Yeah, this is when they used to build cars that were like sure they didn't have airbags and all the safety features. But man, if you got into a wreck, you had a big wrapper around you, you know, of they metal. Didn't even have a cross. Uh, uh, yeah, safety. lap belts. I remember. Yeah, they and then they belts. figured out that people were dying from, you know, right, getting cut in half with the seatbelt. Hmm. Hey, you gotta go sometime anyway. Nice on surround sound with 4K TV. I have to watch it that that way next time. That's got to be really jamming. Yeah. There's enough music. There's enough <laughs> rhythm in this thing. Yeah. Sean Penn. I used to have a scanner here. like that in my car. I used to have a scanner like that. Where I used to listen. Yeah. As a matter of fact, when they picked up, uh, when they shot Alan Dorfman, I heard it on my scanner. Wow. I raced right over there. I didn't live far away. <laughs> when you got into a wreck, it killed you or you didn't get a scratch. Yeah. <laughs> Kevio, yes, sounds like Herbie, Herbie Hancock. HBO on Big TV, YouTube on tablet to chat. Okay, HBO Max on Big TV. It's on HBO Max. Awesome. Des Moines. Des Moines, Iowa. Why do they say Des Plaines River, but they say Des Moines, Iowa, in Chicago? It's an Indian name. Des but why do they say Des Plaines, but Des Plaines, uh, Des Moines? 
it's a, yeah. it's a Chicago thing. What can I tell it's you? A, it's, it's, a, it's like French room. It's like Moline and, you know, a lot of people don't know that there was a Chicago Indian tribe as part of the Iroquois. They're cutting through the roof. Yeah. It's what they did over at the Tower I had of to Jewels. Use one of those recently, versus... recently, that's a chop saw. I had to use one of those recently. They're loud. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, to cut up some of the debris after a hurricane. They're a set of a gun to hold, too. Purple Hotel. Did I just miss something? Purple uh, he's Hotel. talking about the Alan Dorfman hit. Okay. Not the movie. Yeah, put in the comments how you guys are watching it and how you guys are, are texting. Are you guys watching on your phone and texting on another phone? Or what are you doing? Put it in the comments. Let us know. Seems like some of you are watching it on HBO Max. I have a copy. So I'm just watching a copy of it. They caught Frank on the roof. Yeah, exactly. They're doing a hole in the wall gang right now. Doing it all on the phone on YouTube. Okay. Old barn shops. DVD. Sean, Sean's got it on very, DVD. YouTube version is very good. Sean, you're watching it old school, man. <laughs> oh, why dat? You're watching it from memory. That's cool. You've watched this a lot of times then. <laughs> Cindy's using her uh, tablet. HBO Max and using the tablet, HBO Fire Sticks, Lexi, and on the iPad. Cool. I've had it for years. Watch it a lot. Have you on it? I'm doing YouTube on one thing and one screen over here and then uh, the show on the other side. Um, Dazzling Urbanite, you, you paid Voodoo $3.99 watching it, the movie on. Okay. And with you guys on the phone. Awesome. Seems like a lot of everybody's do, a lot of people are doing. That's cool. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys showed up. And there's been like 50 of you the whole time. Thank so, you all for showing up. I really appreciate it too. This has been this has been cool, and, and some of you have really stuck through this. The altars is awesome. So, hey, glad I uh, glad uh, we 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 suggested to do this. Sounds good, Chris. Let me know when you come to town. You're welcome, Stephen. Thanks for, for joining and, and hanging out and doing this. He's testing all the lines now. That's a phone line. That was, I remember seeing the coils of wiring. The ohms go to a different amount for each one. Yeah. Right, you get an ohm reader. I have one. Always had one. <laughs> yeah. I've got a voltmeter ohm meter. <laughs> this new one I bought's a Bosch. I like it. Oh, Ricky Grand, you got a few few beers with your friends. Your friends are watching it too. Old Orchard Mall. Bellucci sells weed. I don't know, but it was all bro. over Old Town when he was down there, him and his brother. <laughs> <laughs> they had the Blues, Blues, Blues Brothers Bar until it was closed for uh, cocaine. Hey, Chris, not quite yet. Uh, we're we're going to be completely reopening uh, on June first. So the next couple of weeks, I'm I'm spending. Uh, most of the time getting all of the things done that need to be done before we reopen. Um, so, so, but, but let me know when you're, when you're uh, out, cause there's a, there's a good cigar lounge. Well, I actually watched uh, casino with you, Adam, as I did. Oh yeah. Lexi, you should do this more often. Yeah. Well, we could do 40, 44 episodes of, uh, of, um, Crime story. <laughs> Red's like, what the hell is this guy talking about? 44 episodes. 
<laughs> like one movie, man. Not 44 episodes, two seasons of a show. Although I don't know if anybody's ever done that before. <laughs> I have to agree with somebody's comment earlier, though. A crime story in Las Vegas was a lot better when they than when they had it in Chicago. What was going on in Las Vegas, it was good. When they brought it to Chicago, it took a dive. I thought, well, if I watched the pilot and it was all in Chicago, what I watched the pilot anyway. Well, the ones I liked at they all. They go to Vegas? Yeah. The I, want, Vegas. I want to see them because I want to see the, uh, the background. Did I tell you it's free to watch the crime story, all the episodes on IMDb TV? I don't know if I mentioned that already. I don't know if I get that on my um, on my um, I forget what you call it <laughs> on your computer. No, I, I not on my on computer on my on my uh, Roku. Oh, um, I don't know if IMDb comes through on that. IMDb TV. That's something new. I bet everybody is everybody's jumping in on this. Sounds good, Chris. Red, are you drinking? Drinks water. I'm drinking squirt. Okay. Okay. Somebody, drinking mentioned, squirt. somebody mentioned it. Squirt, yeah. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy the old green bottles of squirt. squirt. So I, I said, I still drink it. And she says, oh, they stopped making that years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the green bottles you can't get it, but it still is in cans. It's free on YouTube. Commercial free, maybe. Yeah, it's free on YouTube. All right, firing up that burning bar. Oh, they have these fire extinguishers to uh, make sure nothing around it starts on fire. Right. And they don't catch on fire either. <laughs> well, and them, sure. That's Just why they're wearing those suits. Going all over the place. I like the way they got rid of the, Well, even the carpeting. They get ripped the carpeting out. They, they throw the furniture around. Yeah. I think they stacked it all in the corners. So. It's a cool looking scene, the way that they sh they shot this and filmed it. I wonder really how long it took him to burn a hole that big that he could walk into. I don't know. It's got to take a... See that rod? Somebody had to hold up that rod the other end of it. When he got... I mean, there had to be two guys on that thing. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to hold that. It'd be like holding holding a, something out like this. for You know, you're, there's... Uh-uh. It, it's long. It's heavy. It's going to sand. It's, it's going to sand. It looks like what? It's got to be uh, at least 12 foot long, if not longer. Yeah. Yeah. 12 feet minimum. This looks realistic. It does. It's down to a nub. <laughs> that must take a lot of measurement and time to know how he's going to go through that. Yeah. Richmond and Lockett safe. Hey, hey Brett. How you doing, guys? I'm Brett, man. It's, it's good, man. Hope you did something fun with your girlfriend for uh, her birthday. Yeah, how do you not start what's on the inside on fire with that burning bar? Look at all the sparks on the inside, you know. If, if there is anything out that wasn't locked in a box or, you know, it's done. Kevo, that wasn't a uh, a squirt uh, tractor and trailer. It was a coffee trailer. And it was uh, Johnny Rogers that asked me if I could drive it away. They actually, that's when the price of coffee went, it used to be a dime. And it went crazy. It went through the roof. And I got a call. And he says, can you drive a tractor trailer? I said, yeah. And he asked me to come over and move the, it was kind of a little coffee. He See you, Cindy. Thanks for hanging out, Cindy. God bless you, dear. $300 on dinner. My gosh. What did you eat, Brett? What did your wife eat or your girlfriend? I hope it was an edge steak.
you're you're really uh you're welcome lexi i'm glad that you're enjoying this it's actually nice to be with all you in the evening i you know <sighs> my world of computer <laughs> I've not watched anybody do something like this on YouTube with a group. And I, I thought it was going to be a fun idea to do something like this. And Hey, I'm, I'm having fun. If you guys Steak are having fun, 89 bucks, damn, man, where'd you go to eat for $89 yeah. for a steak? Well, you had, oh, oh, and the booze. Oh, the booze. That's where you pile the money. on. Okay. Easy on the booze. There, 89 bro. for the steak, man. What was that? Roost steakhouse. <laughs> Chicago's not cheap. Well, the price of everything's going up right now because the price of gas is going up and costs more to transport things. Look at all those diamonds. We. And you can bet they were all a carrot or bigger. And light up a cigarette. Can't do this in the movies anymore. As a matter of fact, Red, get this. I found a I found a video. I found a video yesterday of me from a movie I was in, a Bollywood movie. Somebody posted it somewhere on one of my pages. Look at this thing. I'm in the movie doing the, the cigarette thing, making it fly around and all. They blurred it out. I'm still in it, but they blurred the cigarette out. You're kidding me. No. Nope. YouTube had a thing now. Yeah. I knew it when they wouldn't put me on, on a whatever it was, NBC. Every or... five minutes on the radio here, it's got tobacco-free Florida. gives a free ad that says we, we will give you um, free medical patches or whatever you want, nicotine free or whatever. Uh -huh. All you got to do is call this 800 number in Florida. They just want everybody to quit. That's it. Yeah. You got the glory music playing. He's happy with his shirt off on the, by the beach and the, the girl with the baby and his... Uh... I like the, the music. Yeah, all... She's his girlfriend. And yeah, Jim, yeah, he's there. Success. We made our big score. <laughs> he had really wide square shoulders, yes. He's a football player. He had a good build on. Yes, Lexi. I'm I'm a Bollywood star, yeah. It's like a commercial, Scott H. You're, you're right; it is. It's like a commercial out of the, out of the out of the eighties. Did you hear what? Did you see what Brett said? I'm not going to repeat it. Pretty soon they'll text. Yeah, exactly. That's what's going to happen. That bad, huh? <laughs> Big score pay. I got the white linen pants on. This trippy ass music. <laughs> Everybody that's here, hit like and subscribe, please. Yeah, don't forget to hit the like button, guys. Those patches will kill you, Kevio said. You know, I had a friend that tried them and they didn't work too well on him. So he just smoked more and he had problems with the nicotine. So, yeah, I'm not going to try it. I tried the vaporizing to. Without any nicotine in it, didn't mm -hmm. work. By the way, the state sent it to me. Yeah, no, you can't do that, Jeff. You can't uh, in the Disney movies. You, you can't also in any movie. They're they're reworking the the uh, the ride at Disney. There, um, Sleeping Beauty. They got Beauty. them classified now. They got Sleep them classified smoking. You know all the no, sex language and smoke. Yeah, they're redoing the the Sleeping Beauty ride because um, you know Prince Charming kisses her when she's asleep to wake her up, and then that's non consensual because she's she's asleep. So you know, I mean, it's wrong for him to bring her out of her sleep like that with an unconsensual kiss. <laughs> it's getting out of hand. Side scene where, where they drink the poison. <laughs> I get it. It's crazy. 
Scott H, I'm sure you like the soundtrack. I'm kind of digging it too, man. <laughs> the drums, the percussion in there. So, yeah. Okay, outside of a house that looks like a giant house, like Tony Accardo's house. Oh, and it's it's our Phil Alderisio guy. The actor who's playing Mitch was a real Chicago burglar. That actor who plays Mitch was a real Chicago burglar. Yes, That's he was. This guy in this room right here, right? In yes. the scene. They told me he was. Oh, okay, in the red shirt over here on the couch, okay. Don't worry about it. We're... <laughs> The cash pot, Stephen Hogan. Out of out of the fruits of his labor. <laughs> mm. I need to have some t-shirts made. I don't like t-shirts. I'm not going to wear t-shirts. That's it. I'm not going to wear them. I used to. I don't anymore. Got a whole closet full of them, guy. Are you talking to me? Somebody no. else walking in this Old room. Old barn. Old barn on the bottom. No, I'm quoting what James Conn just said. Because oh. he's quoting what De Niro said. Yeah. You talking <laughs> to me? Talking to me? Jeff, we're not even going there. <laughs> You're probably right, though. Hi. <laughs> Closed car family. That scene upset me a lot. Why? I don't know. Because that's the way it was. Yeah. When you're owned, you're owned. Yeah. I never wanted to be owned. I like that yield of my labor. Yes. It's the way he put his words. Uh, smart smartphone three. That was uh I like the way he said that. It's the way he puts his words. He doesn't use any contractions. He he puts his words in order. Right. I am instead of I'm. Or mine. Uh-huh. Or we're we're doing what we did. I it was getting beat Tried up. The union, right, yeah. <laughs> he's getting beat up here. Is that Jim? Um, that's Jim Belushi. Okay. Yeah. That's another part that disturbed me. That's uh actually it's a radiator um a vat where they put uh, acid in their clean radiators. Coming up. Mm. I love the bistro lights over the lot. I mean, it's great. Oh, yeah, those lights that were already strung there. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. Oh, yeah. They played oh. hide and seek in that lot for like two days. <laughs> When they were filming it. <laughs> I 
I think the language, I don't know how they got by with the language back then, but they did. Yeah. Ooh. Get rid of your wife, get rid of your kid, get rid of all your money. You're going to war. <sighs> Yeah, brutal that shotgun scene was. Yeah, I like how they shot this scene. Joey Lombardo, Jeff. Jeff Cook, your answer is Joey Lombardo. Conroy Tots Totsro Tots has a majority of the chat lived in Illinois. If you've lived in Illinois or some point in your life, just say yes in the comment. Just curious how many people that are on here right now that may have lived in Chicago. I would imagine most of you. Have. Better yet, if you didn't push, say no, and if you did, say yes. I wonder if there's any no's. It'd be interesting to find out. Somebody from Stephen Greece. Hogan, yes, it, it was just like the sanitary district, except the sanitary district was 10 foot deep and the bodies were in there for a long time, or the, the body was in there for a long time, and it went through an auger into a next tank and a next tank and a next tank until it was, they laid it out to dry. Believe me, there was no bones or anything left. Did I know Larry Manetti? Yes, I did. He was good friends with Michael. Very good friends. Dead Bug Doug, no. Dazzling Urbanite, no. Conroy, Kevio, Stephen, Anthony, Ricky Grant, Michael said no, never. Wow, only only Louisville for a wide ad. Dazzling Urbanite, no. Look at the nose upside down. I know, exactly, Scott. That's what I'm saying. That And the way they shot that, too. So it looks like, you know, you're looking up at him like he was. It, it's that's, But, yeah, he looks mean. His words are meaner than his look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All two customs, no. Wow, another no. Brutal, yes. Okay. Best drinking water in Chicago? <laughs> I like fresh spring water down here in Florida. Not South Florida. Hey, see you later, Brett. You can always watch along. Some other time, you know, cue the Perhaps movie up and Sleep if you had too much to drink, guy. Yeah. Yeah, don't sit up, Brett. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. I'm sure Adam does, too. Oh, yeah. Right on, MK. Mm. Wake up the kid. See how he went through that door, though? He went through a door? When he came in. Oh, yeah?
It's huh. in crash mode now. Nothing's going to change his mind. Oh, my God. I'm getting ripped. My girl don't drink. She's driving. You got ripped on her birthday, and then she had to drive you? Come on, Brett. The times are changing. That's Well, that's why he paid 300 bucks for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear Allie laughing. At <laughs> you hear Allie laughing down. <laughs> Whoever mentioned the squirt, was it you, Adam? Thank you for mentioning it because I enjoyed that one very well. <laughs> See you, Anthony. Thanks for hanging out. God bless you, Anthony. The music is still there. I don't think there's a spot where it gets quiet in here. The music is always there. Whoever did the score for that was really good. It's kind of soft here. Yeah, but it's still there. I mean, there's not a quiet spot in the whole movie. Yeah. Not even when he was taking that bug out of the phone. There was still music in the Yeah, band. yeah. Now she's taking off with the kid. Yeah, this scene is sad. Well, everything's sad after he had the argument with Leo. Hmm. Yeah. And it gets worse. Yeah. As as you as you as he goes down the rabbit hole, you think, well, it's gonna pick up, it's gonna get better, but it doesn't, it gets worse. Tank Ray Gin 50-50. Okay. If that works, that works. I'm sorry for you, Scott. Sorry for your family, your loss. Yeah, right there. House blowing up. That was a pretty good. Damn. Yeah. Effects on that, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, they didn't have a lot of CGI or any of that, you know, to show all those boards and all that blasting off. Me. No, it wasn't like uh, Star Wars where they had, uh, what do they call that? Uh, electric Models. Magic. Uh, industrial yeah. magic. I guess it was available, but they didn't use it. Yeah, he's burning down his life. Exactly what he's doing. If he's got nothing to lose, it's a good good it's a good way to put it. Take thing away from <laughs> exactly. Green Mill Cocktail Lounge. Yeah. He used to play pool in there when I was a kid. These all must be timed dev devices though. Because he, he goes in.
Yeah. Look at that. You kind of know when he tears up the collage, that's that's it. He tore up his life. Right, right, right. <laughs> there goes the green, green mill, yeah. Used cars. Rocket used cars. Man's filmer is very specific as to the sound that being as authentic as possible. I don't the sound, doubt it. The sound department like I'm right in it. <laughs> yeah. The, Oh, yeah. The only he's thing that I noticed on the Green Mill when he's, you know, he's is the, uh, like the city thing across the sidewalk. They had a bench across the sidewalk there. Was that really the Green Mill or another building? Yes. No, that, that was, was the Green really Mill. Yeah, that was on Broadway. I often wondered how they got the glass to come out like that. <laughs> Yeah, it looks good. It looked really, really good. I think they did it in an overlay. They they did one film on one, and then they had, had to have yeah. had to have been. Yeah, the sound and heat and Public Enemies two being two two great examples. The sound and heat. Yeah, now, the heat was with uh, Robert De Niro. De Niro, right? Yeah, good movie. Yeah, that was that's Very De Niro and Pesci, right? Right. And they're standing no. off against each other. Or? Um, was it? What's the Pesci? Who's the guy? Uh... Wait, what's on the ground? That's the picture, right? Yeah. Okay. That's the collage. They tore it up. The collage. Got it. It's what he pasted all together from all the different things. Oakland's in there. Everybody's in there. Pacino. Pacino. Al Pacino. Pacino. Yeah, that's right. Pacino. What did I say? Pesci. Uh, oh, Pesci. my God. Oh, I meant Pacino. Yes. Both of them start with P. Well, you're close. It was a P. <laughs> yeah. What a, oh, that was a miniature set of the club, Hollywood Tricks Boss, but very good set miniature. It could have been, or it could have been a, an overlay there. It could have been an overlay. I mean, I don't know. Because they show him walk out of it in yeah, a miniature. They, they that would be... the scene. You don't see him in the scene when you see the explosion. That's true. Okay. Are you guys watching the movie? Because you're sure making a lot of comments. <laughs> we only got a few minutes left. This is the end of wrapping up, right? Well, this we got... wrap up is something else. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's great. Well, he uses a Slim Jim on the screen door. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I actually knew somebody that used to do that. My girlfriend is asking if this is a full-time job for you or do you work somewhere no, else too? Is this is not a full-time full job. job. No, I, I I own a tour company and we run the Vegas mob tour and the haunted Vegas tour, the good Springs ghost hunt. And uh, I, I, uh, so I run that business and then I also, uh, I'm an entertainer. So sometimes every so often I go off and do, do gigs here and there because I enjoy doing it. He's a celebrity. He's good at what he does. I, you know, I like doing it. It's... He's good at magic. You can see, like on my my lifestyle channel, you can see some of the uh, some other stuff that I do. But yeah, I'm I'm no, I don't make a living off. I mean, God, no. If I if I try to make a living off of this, I'd be living in a cardboard box with my cell phone somewhere in an alley. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I'm just thinking about your neighbors in a cardboard box. <laughs> like, damn, Adam was kicking a box down the alley the other day. I was like, Adam, what are you doing? He's like, I'm moving. <laughs> uh, mm, you ever read Larry Minetti from Magnum P.I.? I answered that. Yeah, yes. Oh, boy. God bless America. Old stuff when I was a, I had my mullet. Oh, my God, no. The mullet. 
Adam, I didn't even know what a mullet was until they came out with Tiger King. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what a mullet was. Nobody he kept talking about a mullet. Crazy. Down in Florida? You lived down in Florida and you didn't see? Never saw any mullets. I kid most of the people down here, they had their their hair their head shaved almost like, you know, so it's like this. It's a crew cut, but they do it themselves. They go yeah. out in the backyard. Instead of going to a barber, they go out in the backyard and go zip, 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 zip. Okay, I got my hair cut. <laughs> yep. Larry was a godson of Tony, or was it Michael? No, neither. Okay. Neither, TC. There it is, right in the chest. Two shots right to the kill zone. Yeah, and another one coming. Yeah. God bless America thinks I'm 51. No, close, but no. You're eight years off. God bless America. How, how old am I? Please tell me you don't watch Tiger King. God bless America. I think we're going to watch all of Tiger King next week. That's what we'll do. I can't take that. <laughs> God. I did binge watch it, though. It was, yeah. We, we turned it on in March, it March like, or April. And we. It's like, what's next? Yeah. It's 2020, you know? Right. It was so outrageous and fantastic, and it was supposed to be true. I'm yeah. into true stuff. Well, it is a true thing, and it's kind of crazy how they made it. But you know, um, reload. Venice Farina. I like the way he jumps. Mm. That's really good. He he was an athletic. I'm sure being a football player helped him do this, uh, those scenes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm curious as to where that house was. All the shooting that went on in that neighborhood? Yeah, right. No, God bless America. I'm not 75, but I hope I get there. I'm 72. Good guess, though. You're close. I can't type. I can't type it back in. I'm 72. Seven. Yeah, seven, two. Just did it in April. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I don't feel 72. <laughs> Cindy's back. Did you go We're to the back. store? <laughs> Went to the store and got back already, huh? Wow. You caught it just for the end. He's literally just so walking away from the from the house down the sidewalk. Well, I am uh I have a question well, for your guests, Adam. Out okay. Of the scenes, out of all the scenes, which one did, was your favorite? Here, yes. So, what was your what was your favorite scene? Put it does sound like comfortably numb. This this music. What was your favorite scene in the movie that we just watched here? Um, if, if if you're watching this later, you're not watching it live. Put it in the comments down below. But what was your favorite scene? And uh, and and we answer in the comments below. And I say we because I answer them, and Red even jumps on this channel and answers them sometimes. He he'll he'll respond. Um, to your comments. So, uh, yeah, watching the, the uh, credits here. Somebody said that they had a cousin that was in here in the credits. 
somewhere. But uh, anyways, put it in there. Uh, metal plating scene. Steven, I, I like that scene when when he walks into the metal plating and it's like, that's all BS and I'm here to da 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 right? That was uh, my favorite scene also. Yeah, I, I like that I scene a lot. My own body. <laughs> uh, James Kahn telling the social worker off, Cindy says. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, that's cool. I like uh, Got to take the dog out, Lexi. He's been bugging you most of the night. Let's do it again, Lexi. Sounds sounds like fun. We'll pick another movie. Maybe we'll put it up in the uh, community section of the page, and you guys can vote on it and go, hey, let's do Favorite scene is at James and Tuesday at the diner because it establishes those characters. And I I read... I was getting to know you. <laughs> I, I, I read that uh, that was also James Kahn. favorite His favorite scene as well was the diner scene, is what he said. Um, favorite scene was Dennis Farina getting killed. Ricky Grand, right on. Um, <laughs> thanks, Great 15. Uh, that was fun. What's up next weekend? I don't know, Scott H. What's up next weekend? Let's let's make it to, to Redness Day on Wednesday, and yeah. then let's let's That's first right. get through that. Uh, thanks, Great Fifteen. Have a good night. It also lays out groundwork for Frank's nihilism. Okay. Uh, the actual metal cutting of the safe scene from from a technical point of view, John yeah, well, O. Yeah, John O, the burn scene from a technical point of view was great. And then so was the drill in the beginning, for that matter. Um, the beginning with that drill, it had me intrigued right in the very beginning when he's running the drill. You know? Yeah, right? Yeah, it was a nice way to oh, it was a nice through? way that they, they shot it. And then he found another thing, you know, two doors in there and he punched them. Yeah. The Chicago cop beating him with a phone book. Jeff, right on. Yeah, that's uh that was a good scene. And, and that, that happened to Frank, too. Um, God bless America. Let's watch Airplane and the Naked Gun. Uh, let's, you know, if we were going to watch something else, maybe it would be something mob-related, Chicago-related. Cindy, Airplane. No. You guys are crazy. Come on. It's like, this is mob vlog. Remember? <laughs> something maybe, you know. Well, Airplane was Chicago because he used O'Hare Airport. But Okay. All right. He used O'Hare Airport. Matter, it had nothing to do with the mob. <laughs> No, it didn't. No, they might have made a reference in that movie to The Godfather at some point, but I don't remember. But because they made references to everything in that. Anyway, so the movie is over. It is officially ended. And there's still, all of you are still sitting here. Yeah, there's do, some do my Matthew Broderick. It's over. Go home. Why are you still here? Oh, no, I need a towel on my head. I got to do the towel on my head. I like those other. <laughs> Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah, that's Ferris Bueller's Day Off. off. Yeah. What are you still? What are you still doing here? Yeah. Go home in the Go screen. Home. It's <laughs> over. I love a yeah. film. <laughs> running scared, Stephen Hogan. Running scared. Who that's was too it? much of a comedy. <laughs> too much of a comedy. Yeah. Chicago outfit with Frank Vincent. Chicago outfit with Frank Vincent. Sean Pender. What's that? Is that a documentary? I'm down for a documentary, guys. I'm cool. If you guys want to do that, I mean, I'm all good. Brett and I did the that DB Cooper one on uh, on. We didn't do a watch along with it, but we just watched it and reviewed it and talked about it. Um, and that was in. Yeah, people were kind of not really interested. So, um, <laughs> anyway, David Grimp, good to see you. The Road to Perdition. Oh, great movie with Tom Hanks. Yeah, the road to perdition. Chicago, is that too. Chicago? That's Chicago. Yeah. It yeah. is. Well, he goes to the Lexington Hotel to see uh, Capone, but he sees. Uh, oh, 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 I don't think I ever saw this. Paul Rica. The road to perdition. Really. Okay. I like so, that. I like that movie a lot. Yeah, the road. I've never seen it, Red. It's good. <laughs> it's about his son. Mike. Uh, crime story first episode. I just watched part of the first episode this morning or yesterday, I think, but it was uh, it was cool. Chicago Overcoat, TC and Dead Bug Doug. What's Chicago Overcoat? A B-rated movie. B-rated, huh? Okay. So here's what we'll do, okay? We're going to go through the comments. We'll take Road to Perdition. We'll take Untouchables, Cindy Workman, Untouchables. Is that with Kevin Costner? Yeah. 
Okay, so we'll take we'll take we'll 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 vote a Chicago overcoat, road to perdition, and untouchables, and first episode of the crime story, which is forty five minutes. How about a comedy mob movie, guys? I'm down for it. I swear, if you want, we'll even put a comedy in there. You know, like uh, uh, something. What's payback is a good one. Yes, it was payback. Okay, so but I like the road petition a lot better. Tom Hanks, Paul Newman. It was it was really I think Red's gonna vote for Road to Perdition. I'm just guessing when this goes up. I'm my hand. <laughs> okay, Road to Perdition. Uh Scarface, Untouchables. Oh, somebody else said Untouchables. Okay. Okay, Untouchable. I would love to watch you analyze this. Okay, we'll put that in as a as a uh is a, a comedy to let you guys married to the mob. That was a Scarface. Married to That's mob was a comedy. Yeah, but analyze this was funny. Road to Perdition, Untouchable, Scarface. Analyze. What about um? What about uh? Capone? Did you guys? Chicago Overcoat was less than a B movie. Is what great fifteen said. It was. I, I, is I, it, I, are we talking about wasting our time if we're doing that? Red. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. Good fellas. No, guys, I'm down. Goodfellas is a great suggestion, uh, Cindy. I know it's it's not um, Chicago, but it's come on. You know what I mean? How can you not like that movie? Monday, Mon movie Monday, Monday night movie night, Monday movie watch along party. What is something like that going on here, Red? Is that what I'm feeling? I don't know. It's been suggested like two or three times now. I know, right? Uh, people are saying it. Based on Rock Island Gangster, filmed in Elgin, he sees Nitty. Right. What's that? That's the Road to Petition. Road to Perdition. Yeah. It's really sounding good. This road. To it was. You got to watch it. It, it, it was real. <laughs> road to Perdition. Okay. All right, dude. I got five. I got five. I'll put five up. So here's what we'll do tonight. I'll put in Monday nights. I'm gonna put in two things, guys. I'm gonna put up two posts on our on our community page. I'm um, gonna one post is gonna be which movie do you want to do a watch along with. Okay, and then the second is, um, what night do you want to do the watch along? And we'll do it. We'll keep it like around the same time, eight o'clock start time, like an eight to ten thing for Central Time. That's and, interesting, uh, Sean. Um, did you see Sean's comment? My customer was the place where the film Road to Perdition got some insight. My customer. Oh, okay, Sean. In, in very interesting. Well, if we do that movie, then then we'll definitely you got to be around to uh, to to put your insight in here as well for everyone. So, Adam, whatever movie we do, let's watch it first and talk about it before we go on here. <laughs> Scott H, let's let's make it a thing every week. Red, then we got to watch him two or three times. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind watching movies. You remember, I'm reopening uh, the tour company. And I got a lot to do. And then I have to start doing tours and then I have to tell a higher tour guide. Says uh, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Do it on the weekends. Yeah. Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday. God bless America. You know, it could be it could be a Sunday night. I'm off on Fridays, Adam. All right. So let me think about this for a minute because because the weekend would be good. I wonder if we should do it during the day and the weekend maybe or at night. It's not Monday. All right, guys, I'm going to put up some some things. So go to the community page, check it out. Um, I, I have saw a lot of new names and a lot of old names here, a lot of regular people. Yeah. It's good it's... to see all of you, really. Hey, Scott, any movie, any day. Awesome, buddy. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, it has been fun. What and film please no Monday. God bless America. Please no Monday. I want to participate. Okay. Um, someone going to do a movie about Red? I'll, it's maybe someday if they ever get it together. There you go. Okay, guys. It has been fun. Red, thank you so much for uh, hanging out tonight. You're and uh, creating content with me and with everybody else here on Mob Vlog. You guys have been fun. Uh, as always, it's been a great time. God bless. Be safe. And uh, we'll see you next time on Mob Vlog. Thanks, Michael.